Uh, of course, the, the film was this wonderful tease of a build-up to Harry Lyme's mm. appearance. Yeah. Um, and indeed, uh, shooting it was a bit of a tease of waiting for Orson to begin yes, with. Yes, uh, Orson was uh, hiding in uh, Rome uh, because he was negotiating his contract with Calder. Uh, he got um, a lot of hotel debts and he got some films that he'd shot were stuck in laboratories and all yes. sorts of uh, you know, typical wars and things. But you must remember that there was no telephone between London. Uh, uh, civilians weren't allowed. You were only, you had to queue up and wait for one hour a day. Uh, it's very complicated. Uh, and Orson wasn't turning up. And this is how uh, Carol, by accident, saw the shadows as we were waiting, doing something, and said, uh, Guy, can you make a shadow and uh, running? And so you run on them. And he said, that's good, but you're a skinny little bugger. Put, uh, get a big hat and a um, big coat, leave the coat hanger in and try that. Yes, that's good. Uh, and so now... Harry Lyme's uh, wardrobe is set. <laughs> yeah, no. You didn't have a choice, did and it? We set, <laughs> we set the location manager to Rome to get Orson's measurements. <laughs> and Orson played hard to get. And he said, I'll be down in a second, and then vanished. <laughs> and so they had to bribe the uh, telephone lady at the Excelsior uh, to put her through, you know. He said, but Orson has bribed me not to put you through. I bribe you more to put me through. So eventually, uh, eventually Orson turned up. Mm -hmm.